Okay, so everything, all my jobs I need to get done are done for the day. And I decided that I'm gonna do a truck tour video of the van that I drive, so. Peter driving away in Mike's truck, but this is the van, it's the Mercedes Sprinter that Mike's shown in his videos a bunch of times, but the cab, I have this uh, return. I need to return this back to Supply House, but this is where I keep the iPad, I charge my flashlights, I charge the uh, Milwaukee batteries, and I try to keep it clean. Winter hats on the dashboard. But this is the inside of the van. I just used my tool bag for something at the shop, but. Here are the back doors. I have some rags or towels drying there right now, but this is a steam uh, trim kit, all the controls you need for a steam boiler. But uh, that's where I keep all the piping. PVC, some black pipe, uh, a lot of copper pipe. And I keep my Milwaukee filter right here, uh, just to keep it out of the way. I never keep it in the vacuum because I don't want someone to take it, vacuum up water, and the filters inside. But uh, I have to get a new box of gloves. I got these three things recently. They're nice. They hold stuff. Uh, I just put random stuff on here: nylogs, some CO2s. Got screws from uh, an Ultra because those tend to go missing. We show up and they don't have them there, and uh, just some like sealant stupid stuff acetylene and nitrogen and croil uh, evaporator cleaner bee spray soapy bubbles this is just a mess of miscellaneous tools because it's pretty tight in here I don't have much room to put everything with all the parts that are in here and these are some more tools a lot of batteries chargers just some random tools here I know where everything is. This part that you're looking at right here is a little bit less organized, but I do know where everything is. Like this is my uh, anemometer for uh, airspeed. Um, I have some more things down here. Uh, carbon monoxide detector, a Testo voltmeter, uh, LE Tech vacuum gauge, and I have an, a Klein uh, manometer in there. And Actually, I've been meaning to take this out, but this is an old mercury thermostat, which I think still works. I put it in here and I want to keep it because I think it's cool. But uh, a bunch of boxes. These are the opener, the hole saws, um, my cheap uh, socket set, <coughs> my M12 pump for expansion tanks. I've also used it to inflate the tires on the van before. Uh, this is a step bit kit, a Miscellaneous drill bit kit from Milwaukee. Uh, real drilling bits, different sizes. These are pretty cool. They do work. You could take out strip nuts with these. They twist and lock on. And <clears throat> some uh, pipe cutters by Lennox. A another socket set just for backup. And a label maker, a Brother P-Touch. And then under that, this is my bucket for only tankless flush or clean water. I keep my pump in there and my two hoses. Got the Testo, uh, another bucket for like dirtier water. I got a dirty hose in that one too, for like emptying out a steam boiler. Uh, Milwaukee shop vac, M18, or M12 press tool. And back there is the vacuum hoses by, uh, from True Tech Tools, the Blue vac, uh, whatever they're called. But I had this for a while and I really wanted to put it in the van because I like it a lot, but it's kind of tight. It leaves very little room to walk, but it's wherever I like to have it here. And I just throw some random stuff in here. This is a bunch of refrigeration stuff I keep, like small things um, and my torch tips. I have one of these, uh, whatever you call it. Nails for the nail gun I have, uh, just 
kind of random. I don't really use this one too much. This is uh, cool. It does uh, smoke pipe. It uh, puts the crimp in it. That way you can slide them into each other. And uh, this is for our, like, Milwaukee's hole saws, which we don't really use here. I use them at the other company, but I keep it anyway because I don't like to throw anything out. This one's empty. You know, I should start putting things in these because something like this would be nice to take inside uh, with like maybe screws in it or electrical fittings. That one's also empty. But the main reason that I use this is for the under compartment, which is a little tough to open with this on top, but all my Milwaukee power tools are kept in here. So that kind of keeps them in good condition ish they don't get thrown around or thrown in dirt and things like that and this is where i stock all the parts i'll start with here there are some zone switching relays a two backflow preventers a pressure reducing valve two circulators 0015 e3s with the adjustable speed and the indicator light all different things for like gas controls. There's a gas valve back there, hot surface igniters. This I just tossed in here because I had nowhere to put it. But uh, pilot tubing, pilot assemblies, uh, different things are kept in there. But it's mostly like small control, gas related. And uh, here's my refrigeration gauges, but this box, I keep a bunch of random navy and stuff that I see needs to be replaced often. So, uh, whatever's in there kind of changes. These are some, uh, like, brand-specific parts. Like, we have a uh, Wall McLean uh, screen, I believe it is. Or a CGA screen. Uh, this right here is the pressure temperature gauge for Wall McLean Ultra. Got a <clears throat> gas valve here, gas valve here, uh, hydronic uh, fan control for an air handler with a hydronic coil. This back here is the control board, the Sage controller for Burnham Alpine. And this is for a CGA, low water cutoff. Uh, have some more gas controls here. We got another gas valve. Uh, and a bunch of zone valves, that's what these brown boxes are. And a little control board. Uh, conversion kit for a, uh, to transform it into a uh, intermittent ignition. And I've got two of these ones, so I'm gonna take one of these out so I have room. But there's an Aquasat relay, a steam boiler low water cutoff, and um, I got some aqua, or pressure trolls here for steam boilers, an RB24 low water cutoff for like the nicer boilers. Um, another gas control. I might have two of a few things. No, this one's different from this one and this one. But uh, this right here is a hydrostat, which I've never put in, but Mike likes us to keep everything. So we've got a furnace controller, uh, another furnace controller down there, box of thermocouples. Then more gas stuff. I keep some miscellaneous, like half inch, three quarter inch fittings. This one I just threw in here because Mike told me to throw it in, but I don't really keep any fittings of any other size for black pipe. But uh, this is where they all are. I try to make sure I have like two to four, uh, maybe six of certain fittings. And uh, ferry valves for steam radiators. Um, pressure gauges, or uh, pressure relief valves and temperature and pressure relief valves. Um, different uh, valves like uh, drains, uh, flush valves for three quarter or half inch. I have both in here. And this is kind of a mess, but I have two main steam air vents. I have a bunch of pigtails, uh, washers and things for the sight glass. And then I have sight glasses right here. Some tridicator gauges, some surge X for the boiler treatment for steam. And also a steam pressure gauge down there. And uh, this I kind of just use to throw things in. 
Uh, you can see I have the pump here to drain down like water heaters and things, but anode rods too for a titanium water heater. We see a lot of those. Uh, Navian circulator and a three-way valve with all the gaskets needed because we do that all the time. Keep that right here. Uh, I don't know why, I just chose that to be the place. And uh, tankless flush chemical. What do we have here? Some uh, temperature sensors. And this is that freeze protection control. I'm actually gonna take this out and put that with that because that makes more sense. Uh, closer to the thermostats, which I keep plenty of thermostats. Some smart Sensi thermostats, Bosch smart thermostat, a Honeywell smart thermostat, and just typical programmable White Rogers thermostats, which we like. They have the company name on them too. Uh, I do need to get a condensate trap because this is where I would keep a condensate trap. But you can see I have different switches for the water. This is a gas valve by Residio for a specific AO Smith that uh, was sent under warranty but had a bunch of issues with the customer and I ended up getting it. So this is temperature sensor for a Jandy pool heater. Uh, we see a lot of Jandy pool heaters so keep that in there. And this right here is kind of want to straighten this out for a second but it's uh kind of random things um but this is a uv system that's a uv system this is a wild mclean ultra service kit because we see tons and tons of those and there's a humidifier canister back there for a steam humidifier we've got pretty much every possible replacement blower motor if we need and below that i have some condensate neutralizing media um this is a bracket for a furnace uh, for a fan motor and another fan motor down there, which is a replacement for ECMs. And uh, this is where I keep my step stool. I got this giant 48 inch pipe wrench, uh, my refrigeration uh, scale. Back here, we got a Wal McLean service kit for the 105, the smaller boiler. My nipple tray with three quarter and half inch. It's a vacuum pump oil, my rolly extension cord, some furnace cement, vacuum pump, and then behind the Milwaukee case is an ST12 and an EX30 expansion tank. So if I need those, I have them. Also keep um, five inch and six inch vent dampers behind there as well. But, uh, Let's see, I put screws and things in this bin right here, uh, stickers, tags, uh, I'll put little printout sheets here too, just kind of anything that I like to keep cleaner goes in here, which this did come out of my Milwaukee box. And I have an extra set of gloves here that I keep. But uh, over here, I got the Pipe Doctor floor mat that we roll out, the red carpet. Uh, the duct ties and the pipe vise. Uh, I don't know why I chose to put it there, but it works. Um, all of these are my different trays. So three quarter copper sweat, half inch copper sweat, PEX fittings, inch and a quarter press, one inch press, three quarter press, half inch press, and PVC. Uh, and this is where I like to hang my tool bag. Sometimes I'll put it over here, depending, but I keep this hand truck out here, which is nice. I got it for free. And it, uh, it folds up in a few different ways, which makes it very convenient to carry things out. Um, whether it's like a boiler or a toilet, there's a way to maneuver it so that it works out well. But uh, up here is again, slightly less organized, but I try to keep like my tapes here. So I have Teflon tape, mastic tape, uh, foil tape, uh, I have some WD-40, my condensate drain treatment tablets, um, some penetrating fluid that I got before Mike told me to only use Croil because Croil works great for us. Uh, foam tape, screws, I got my Sabrite 8 Flux solder, my mirror, my band iron. Very loud. Uh, PVC, got my glue and my primer. There's another roll of Teflon tape in here. 
No, I guess it's staying there. Uh, some scratchy paper all the way in the back in this box. Wet rag, two different kinds of wet rag. This one's called Hot Block. That's the actual wet rag. Uh, and there's a roll of an electric tape in there, but my striker is in there. My pipe dope's there. These I threw in here recently. Uh, I should find somewhere else. I, honestly, I should just take these out because I'm never going to use them, but they're just caps for three inch pipe, maybe four inch, might be four inch, but I got my super seal down there. Easy seal, super seal. We use that a lot. Um, not necessarily because it stops the leaks, but for the dye, but it has stopped leaks before. So thermostat wire, one of these is supposed to be five, but people going in and out of the trucks, it ends up not going back in or getting replaced with a different one and just some random uh, larger PVC fittings that I don't use too often just in case I need them got one of pretty much every size capacitor you could think of and if not we have the rescue caps which you can turn into multiple sizes the turbo this one is for the larger sizes super boosts um for compressors and uh this is a compressor saver so it's got the contactor and the uh start capacitor uh it works a little bit better than these super boosts so we have one uh surge protector right here this little relay slipped out from somewhere but Contactors, these are smart uh, contactors, so they're not just a direct pull and switch, they have their own little board in them. But I do have regular contactors, you can see back there, along with some random things that Johnstone or uh, Ferguson had given me one day. And then, what do we have here? I believe this is the control board for a Ream Prestige, yeah, condenser, I think it's Prestige. But one of the ream condensers the more higher tech ones um below that i've got my 3 8 uh, clear vinyl tubing some electrical connectors for half inch um, whip for uh, making whips to connect the uh, condensers outside various electrical fit fittings uh heat shrinking stuff uh wire nuts and uh see bx connectors and things like that are in this one uh, a few different containers of connectors uh female male speed whatever uh ring connectors the y connectors and then here's wire which i haven't opened up yet but that's to make whips we stopped buying the the whips themselves that are pre-made and we buy the liquid tight now instead and wire and in there is some more electrical stuff I like these too. They're those little breakers for 24 volts that are in a lot of the RTUs that we see. There's some zip ties in there, condenser cleaner, condenser cleaning tools, my refrigerant, uh, recovery tanks for R22 and 410. This is fire block sealant. Um, why it, I have it, I needed to use it one time and I've kept it in here since. A bucket for garbage, that's also a bucket for garbage. And that's pretty much it. I keep the M18 blower up here uh, for blowing out the van, blowing out condensers. Hillmore bending tools right here. LE Tech electronic leak detector. And my Testo uh, wireless refrigeration probes. But uh, it's nice. Uh, Trade Fox umbrella. Use this all the time, especially in the summer to stay out of the sun. That was super, super cool that Mike got us that. Um, but yeah, I try to keep it as clean as I can. It gets a little bit tough, uh, when we're super, super busy, but see, you can walk through it. Uh, that's really it. Some contractor bags. Oh, recovery machine and my Burnham Alpine kit. That has all the different parts I would need to work on a Burnham Alpine, which is amazing. Use that all the time when we work on them random uh toilet flapper in here i actually usually keep a wax seal in here so i'm gonna grab and throw one in just in case uh, i got another milwaukee filter 
right back there if you see it. Because uh, they get lost all the time, and I like to have have all this back up. I hate sucking up. Um, I just hate having damaged uh, vacuum filters. I think it's the worst thing. Some rags here, a first aid kit, in case I start dying on the job. Um, sawzall blades and things are in here. I got this stupid tool, which... I tried to use it, and it doesn't really seem to work to straighten out fins on condenser or evaporator coils. There's all different sizes, but it's a piece of garbage. I got a staple gun, uh, which this is nice for stapling uh, thermostat wire. There is a couple cutters in there, PVC and pipe cutters, uh, PEX crimper. But uh, pretty much any of the bigger tools, like cutters or things like that, I pull from here. Uh, I have an older flaring tool that has the uh, clutch in it so you don't over tighten. And then I also have a really old one that was given to us by a subscriber which I haven't used yet. But uh, it's cool, it's an older rigid one. I'll just show you. You can tell it's been used a ton and I'm sure it still works amazingly. That's that's pretty much it for everything in the van. I mean, some hoses, but a fire blocking mat for soldering in like a tight spot. Um, disconnect, uh, quick swap for ECM motors. Um, OEM constant torque ECM motor replacement. So I believe you use it to, I haven't used it yet, but I believe you use it to convert an ECM to a regular. But, six foot ladder. You can see bungee cords everywhere. I keep everything strapped in because I don't like things moving around and making noise when I'm driving. Or falling over and knocking other things over. So everything is strapped up. You can see I have plenty of extra bungee cords just strapped at the top too. I love bungee cords and they keep everything clean, they keep the noise down, it's great. But uh, yeah, I think that's, that's pretty much it for everything that I keep in here, at least everything that's important. I do have a ladder rack, which that's the tool to bring it down, there's the ladder. I forget how long it is, maybe 12 feet, 10 feet? but it extends, so might go up to like 18 or 15 feet or something. And it's wrapped with different brands and things, but it's nice. I like it. Let's see inside. Um, I usually keep some money here for tolls. Uh, I keep uh, different small things, pens, whatever, a little level, a lighter in there uh, for whatever I might need. And I do have some really strong magnetic hangers here. Got one here and they're like crazy, crazy strong. So that's what I hang like my jackets and stuff up on. And that works out well. Um, keep different things up here like uh, Paperwork that customers might need to sign or uh, maintenance agreements. I have a bunch of those in here. A uh, filter size chart and more manuals and things for boilers. Here, this is cool. I replaced the Fujitsu, came with a new remote, so I took the old remote. And I can use this to see if maybe they just have a bad remote. I like having this. Um, I keep that up there, I don't know why some random things in here but yeah that's it hopefully you enjoyed watching the video uh if you did um like it and comment any advice or criticisms or feedback or anything and subscribe thanks for watching